Welcome students to your maths class. Today we are starting a new chapter name factors and multiples. So let us understand both one by one. What are multiples? So a multiple is actually a number that is the result of multiplying that number by an, any integer just like the times table. You know the table of two. 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4. So the numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 20. These are all multiples of 2. Similarly, in the table of 3, we get these answers. So these are called the multiples of 3. 3, 15, 30, 9 and 60. Similarly, multiples of 5 means the answers that we get in the table of 5. So 5, 25, 50, 20, 55. These are all multiples of a number 5. So what are multiples? They are just like times table. Let me give you more example. Here 5 into 4 answer is 20. So 20 is a multiple of 4 because it comes in the table of 4. And 20 is a multiple of 5 also because it comes in the table of 5. Now let us see here. seven. 14, 21, 28, 35. These are all the answers in the table of 7. So these are the multiples of 7. So are there only so many? No, we can find n number of multiples. Similarly here, 15, 30, 45, 60, 75. These are all coming in the table of 15. So these numbers are called the multiples of 15. So the question is, how do we find multiples? We find multiples by, we can write the tables. Like here, example, table of 6 is given. And we can find n number of multiples. Means endless multiples we can find. 6 5s are 30, 6 6s are 36 and so on and on. 6 10s are 60, 6 11s are 66. We can go on and on by multiplying the and next number with the number and we will find the multiples now here is another interesting example here beautiful flower pots are there and let us see these numbers 9 80 so what will come next if the next number is 36 so if you remember the tables we can say that 9 ones are 9 9 twos are 18 9 threes are 27 9 fours are 36 9 fives are 45 9 6 are 54, 9 7 are 63, 9 8 are 72. So what will come next? Yes, 9 9 are 81. So we can find the multiples of a number by just multiplying it with the next number. Now here, let us discuss some basic facts of multiple. Means it is true for all the multiples. So let us see first one. And uh, we have to try to remember this also. Every number is a multiple of itself. Means 3 multiplied by 1. Answer is 3. So 3 is the first multiple of the number 3. Similarly, 5 multiplied by 1 is equals to 5. So 5 is the first multiple of 5. Similarly, for 9, 9 is the first multiple. So every number is a multiple of itself. Now let us see fact number 2. Every multiple of a number is equal to or greater than the number itself. For example, multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. So the multiples are starting from the number 3. So it is either equal to or greater than 3. So all the multiples of 3 are either equal to 3 or greater than 3. So this holds true for all numbers. Every multiple of any number is equal to the number itself or greater than the number itself. So this is an interesting fact. Now let us see some more facts. Now there is no end to finding multiples. How we can say that? Because we can see this example is all the multiples of 5 are there. So is it ending here? No, we can find out. This is 5 11 are 55. So can we find the next? Yes. How? We can multiply 5 into 12 answer is 60 similarly 
5 into 13 answer is 65 we can go on and on there is no end to finding multiples multiples are endless or infinite and then one more fact smallest multiple of a number is the number itself that we, is very clear see the, here the these are all multiples of 5 and 5 is the smallest also so smallest multiple of a number is the number itself it is true here everywhere see 3 is the smallest multiple of 3 so every number is the here smallest multiple of a number itself and let us see the next fact a number uh, a multiple of a number is always divisible by the number that is also true you can see these are all multiples and these are multiples of 5 so they will be always divisible by 5 a multiple of a number is always divisible by number now let us see the next one another fact interesting one to find the multiples of a number we simply multiply the number by the whole numbers that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and on and on because multiples are endless like the numbers are endless so we can find endless multiples also now let us move on and find an interesting question what are the first six multiples of four now it is not asking all multiples it's asking only first six multiples so what do we do we have to multiply four by one two three four five and six so the, we will get the first six multiples see four ones are four the first multiple four twos are eight second multiple four threes are 12 third multiple four fours are 16 fourth multiple four fives are 20 fifth multiple and four six are 24 so these are the first six multiples of four suppose if i ask you what is the tenth multiple of four so we will multiply four by ten and the answer is 40. now let us see another example suppose the question says write the first five multiples of each number so what do we do we will multiply the number by one then two then three then four and then five and we will get the five multiples so the first five multiples of six are six twelve eighteen twenty four thirty we are multiplying six by one then six by two six multiplied by three six multiplied by four and six multiplied by five so we can find out first five multiply multiples of any number by multiplying it by one two three four and five i hope you understood that now let us move on and if we have to find the multiples can we find some common also yes common means they have to be in the table of both the numbers so see here we have multiples of 6 written down here and multiples of 8 also written down here and multiples are endless so we can go on so let us see what do you mean by common common means which is there in the table of 6 as well as 8 so 6 is not there in 8 table 12 is also not there in 8 table 18 is also not there in 8 table but 24 yes 24 is a common multiple which is coming in the table of 6 and 8 as well then the next numbers are not coming in the table of 8 but 72 is a common multiple why because it is coming in the table of 6 also and 8 also so common multiples of 6 and 8 are 24 and 72 and we can go on finding more common multiples now let us see one more example now if it is asked find out the first common multiple of 3 and 5 so what do we do first write down the multiples of 3 and then write down the multiples of 5 also and then we will look for which one is the common yes we can see very clearly here 15 is the multiple which is there in the table of 3 and in the table of 5 also and it is the first common multiple which is the second common multiple in 3 and 5 we can see here very nice it is 30 is the second common multiple in the table of 3 and 5 so i hope you have understood these concepts of what are multiples facts of multiples how to find multiples and how to find common multiples 
So I hope you enjoyed it. Do practice regularly.